Yeah, in the last 48 hours. Um, Nissan has uh, released the, uh, is it the Aria? I believe it's pronounced Aria. I believe so. The and Aria, uh, yeah. they, uh, it is, it is a SUV uh, that has a couple of different battery pack sizes. Um, they say that it's going to start at forty thousand dollars, and uh, this vehicle is uh, a five-door hatchback, and uh, it is going to at the upper end, uh, the larger battery pack have a 300 mile range. And yes, before anybody asks, this Nissan actually has thermal cooling. Ooh. It, it actually has liquid flowing through and around the battery to keep it cool <laughs> so you don't have to go to a car wash so you can charge up your car. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Nissan apparently has learned their lesson and now has a vehicle with thermal cooling. Congratulations, Nissan. <laughs> yeah, like how many times steps. have you complained about that on this that, show? That has been the number one complaint against Nissan mm -hmm. electric vehicles from the beginning. And uh, it's been a yeah. long road. Since 2012, it's been a long road. 2010, so, What's that? December of, December of 2010 is when the uh, 2011 model oh, came out. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. It, it wasn't released in Canada until 2012. My, uh, <laughs> my, my corner of the world, it was 2012. Yes. It's, it's like they went in steps. They did uh, the, the, the Leaf, both, both gens. Put the air cool, no fan, no fence, no nothing. Uh, but the ENV 200, they got a server fan. <laughs> One. And yeah, now that, that they've gone full liquid cooling. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a, quite a step up from a single server fan, I would say. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that's great. Now, the other huge news is that Nissan is not going with the Chatamo Charger. They're switching over to CCS. In this. What, what did you think of that, Casey? Like, that's is that is that is that the Chattamo right way to outside, go? Chatamo outside of Japan is now dead. Yeah. Because uh, so so in C they're going to use CCS in the U.S., North America, South America, Europe, everything. But in Japan, they will have two fuel doors on the what we would call the driver's side. Uh, they have the uh, the Chatamo, and on the existing side, they'll have the uh, level two. That's interesting. So North America will be the one that w does not have Chatamo, but they're going to have it in Japan. They're still going to have the uh, Chatamo option. Yeah, and we'll only have one fuel door because they can get the the level two and DC fast charge out of the same socket. Right, and it's a connected car too. So that opens up a lot of potential for doing over the air updates and other cool features. Yeah, they've got wireless CarPlay, a bunch of other really cool stuff. So it's not like they, it's actually right. like they're trying, which is important because. Android Auto, mm -hmm. CarPlay, uh, and Alexa integration as well. I think the real question the Aria poses uh, for electric vehicle fans is uh, is there any future for the Leaf after this comes out? Done so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, well, this yeah. is at a much higher price point. It right? is it true. It starts at 40000 where the Leaf starts more at twenty five, depending on... One, one of the articles I read said that as this comes out, the, uh, the outside of Japan Leafs will switch to CCS for the new ones. Hmm. Oh, that makes sense. For the so what we really, to Chatamo. <laughs> what we really need now is a CCS to Chatamo adapter, and then you can just get rid of all of the Chatamo charging stations and replace them with CCS. And then yeah. all of the cars, whether they're Chatamo or CCS, will be able to use them. Now in this, uh, in an Inside EVs article talking about um, the you know, Nissan dropping Chatamo for CCS, it does mention that Chatamo, the Chatamo Corporation, Chatamo Association, correctly, um, sorry, just released Chatamo 3.0, or what they call it, was it Choji? Or what? Choji. <laughs> I don't know. C-H-A-O-J-I, <laughs> whatever, Chatamo 3.0. So, I mean, they released, they recently released an, an updated Chatamo. Are they just grasping at straws here? Well, I mean, most of the, most of the chargers are limited to 50 kilowatts. So even if they put a better inlet on the car, then you have to go and place all of the uh, Chatamo connections. And what we're seeing with Electrify America and others is they're rather just put in a CCS. It's, this is going to be uh, great for the spread of 
the ability to take long trips in an EV. Uh, now that there's a standard for everything that's being sold in the, in the uh, North and South America and Europe, uh, you only have two different inlets to worry about. Their 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 pins are just slightly different, and 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 it will make it so that you can get your economy to scale and not have to worry about oh we got to make sure that we uh, that the Japanese cars can can charge and then oh we got to make sure that Nissan and Mitsubishi can charge. No, you just need CCS. Yeah, fewer is better because you don't want this to be complicated. You don't want to have to, if you only had certain cars that had to go to special gas stations, it would be a big pain. So anything that makes this easier, that's going to help the wide adoption, it's what we needed. Yeah. And since you've got uh, a lot of them are now agreeing to accept each other's apps, uh, now, now they all have the same connection. Uh, this is what we need to complete the goal of you know, cleaner transportation going forward. If, if Nissan came out with the Aria, does that mean their next car is going to be the Sansa? Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. wow! I, I thought you, the opera joke. I was just gonna say I thought for sure he was gonna go for the opera joke. Thank you. The opera joke was a lot clearer. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah. the exterior of this car does look a lot better than their first attempt. I, I like the Aria, but um, I have questions about the interior, especially for the passenger, since they took out the console. They say it makes it feel spacious, yet I noticed in 133 photos, I don't get a photograph of the entire interior with the seats up. I see the seats, the seats down, down or the driver's I see side. Lots of through. I see lots of close-up detail, but that means that they're too afraid to put the seats up and actually let you see what the interior is like. But uh, a prototype. No, I, I have that. I always notice what people choose to leave out especially when they make a mm. keynote on the features missing. And I was like, you took out the console, but you say there's a feeling of space and then you can't show me the interior to let me see what the space looks like. So those yeah, of you with families for whom this looks like a really interesting car you might want to go for, definitely go see it on the lot. Yeah, they say it's going to be slightly smaller than the Model Y, but it's definitely going to be a crossover. So. You get a little bit more room than some of the other Nissan. Slightly. Slightly. Any ideas why it would have two shark fin antennas? Uh, that's a good question. Also, why is it front wheel drive? Why not? They got a big old battery. There's nothing stopping them from making it rear wheel drive. But <laughs> because almost everybody else's uh, one wheel drive EV is rear wheel drive. And it's not going to be t- taken anywhere off road by the people who are actually going to go buy a Nissan Aria. Yeah, I don't. I don't think front wheel drive is a disadvantage necessarily. I think that's an American conceit that rear wheel drive is better, is cooler, and I get in some cases it is. But yeah, a lot of great front wheel drive cars out there. There are, yeah, but there's no advantage to doing it drive. now that it's fifty fifty weight balance, no weight over the front axle. So it's like. Yeah.